Uh, you know who Julius Francis is? Julius Francis. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Third uh, Caesar of Rome. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> Julius Caesar Francis. Did you just say a painter? I I was yeah. with uh, Ryan on this one. Was also a painter, sorry. He was also a painter. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was a fucking drink shop. A famous artiste. Oh, Orange Julius. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I miss Julius that Caesar? Place. No, Orange Julius. Have you heard of that? It used to be in all the malls. And it was like an orange whip cream drink. A like, creamsicle drink. Wait, you really don't know Orange Julius? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Really? It's not, yeah, no, it's not, yeah. I thought that was a nationwide thing. I know Jamba Juice. Do you, you know, know what Jamba Juice is? Do you know, yeah. uh, do you know Dairy Queen? <laughs> yeah, but I've never been to a Dairy Queen. Okay, Dairy, Dairy Queen and Orange Julius would sometimes be tandem. Yeah. Oh, okay. They got this new thing at Dairy Queen now, and I only know because I go back and forth in Vegas all the time. Uh, and, the, and I have to do these road stops and shit because like you can tell up. this guy's on a diet, dude. He's like, oh, no, no, no. Diet. So uh, when they make their blizzard or whatever the fuck, they have to hand it to you across the counter upside down. Why? Wow. Like, just to show you how fucking thick it is or whatever. Dude, like, we do the same thing. Get back to me. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah. You're like, don't drop my drink. But they always do, they always do it. <laughs> They're Dude, like it's the, and they don't though. do it enthusiastically it. like the commercials. It's, it's, it's better than a McFlurry. No, dude. It's not like the Turkish ice cream guy that keeps taking it. Has anyone had this funny. strawberry frosty at Wendy's? No, no. not the strawberry. New, new the flavor. Chocolate. New flavor. Oh, Fire or what? I don't know. Come on, Dad. I don't know. So, Julius <laughs> Francis, not the third Caesar. The WNBA or... player? <laughs> She's a model. Sounds like a WNBA Julius player. Julius Caesar? Julius Francis is a guy. <laughs> it's a dude. Yeah, okay, a fine. I'm not going to say it anymore. A guy in the guess. WNBA? Joanna Man? Joanna Man. One more guess. One more guess. Joanna Man's real name. Yes. Who is Julius Julian Francis? He's an Italian guy that sells meatball subs. <laughs> Ooh. Very sweet. I like a good meatball sub. I, I love the confidence while eating meatball pistachios. Sub. That's it. That's no, just Julius, Julius Francis yeah. has meatball recently meatball. gone viral. Wow. He is an ex-boxer who fought Mike Tyson in 2000. Oh, that oh. guy! Fuck yeah, I love him. From the WNBA, exactly. Yeah, yep. He's my hero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> He now works as a security guard at Box Park Wembley oh, and was filmed hero, knocking hero. out a rowdy visitor with just a single punch. Makes Let's sense. Just, for fun, we gotta, we gotta see the video. Makes sense. He's yeah. probably a big yeah. guy. Love I it. mean, you're a pro boxer that fought Mike Tyson. Every other human being must feel like yeah. a, a fucking like pussy. A yeah. like, a like a cute Labrador. Yeah. This, <laughs> we're getting through an ad right now, but this video has gone viral, and uh, so he wanted to address, like, kind of quote unquote what went down just to make sure. He hates that loud mouth guy that thinks he could fight all the time. Oh, it's the worst. It's so good. I seen this. I thought they were in London. Who's Julius? Yeah. Julius? Oh, you'll this see. One? You'll see. Yeah. They're in London, right? I don't know who yeah. Julius is. Yeah, that is UK, yeah. Well, press play. And then taboo for <laughs> black guy. <laughs> 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 Obviously, this guy with the hat. This guy. The, the biggest dude yeah, in the video. Big dude. dude. The guy this trying way. not to be in the <laughs> Is that so he literally not so long, he just walks. He's watch, like, watch how he's just slowly coming in. Oh shit. Oh, that guy's belligerent, man. He shoved his security guard. Yeah, that's why he got angry. Oh, is that a boxing out. ring? No. No. Wait Stop for it. Wait for he's it. a big boy, dude. No, See, no, he, he just keeps, keeps walking. walking. He's hunting him. He's in the back. No, he comes back around. Yeah. This guy's talking shit. Is doing oh, he's starting up, start up now. No, See, no, it's no. He's walking around. He's walking around. He's, he's back here. here. He's getting into position. But well, watch. Oh, done. See you later, buddy. And he was being nice when he threw that shot. He, just, he, he laid him out. By the way, that, that that's other, like getting hit by fucking. That other Connor guy, how he changes his whole like tone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't have to do that. That's not funny. No, he got to set the precedent. That. What? Like, what kind of store was that? Like a fucking shoe store? <laughs> it said, uh, No, wasn't it a security guard at Wembley Stadium? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Box Park Wembley, yeah. It's like, it looked like you were at a fucking Foot Locker or something. <laughs> like, like a shoe, a shoe release. Yeah, yeah. I named Melrose. <laughs> so, uh, so he intervened uh, with the dude in the blue do-rag uh, and uh, knocked him out, obviously. In the viral footage, that man was shouting, I hope you have a heart attack, you fat. And then it's... Blurred out, Bad words. as well as pushing a member of the staff. And oh, despite nice. attempts to remove the rowdy customer from the area, 57-year-old ex-fighter opted to knock him out with the right hook. Hell yeah! Ooh. He explains, <laughs> "quote I was arrested and rightly so. I was taken to the police station for about four and a half hours. They came back and said, quote No further action.' <laughs> they had statements from my manager, people at the door, and they looked at our CCTV. 
I wasn't worried so much about that because it was actually me defending myself. I had the right to defend myself. You need to rush him. And that's what I did when he raised yeah. his hand. He lunged, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He lunged. Imagine if afterwards the, the police... And he like, wasn't excessive. No, he threw autographs. I mean, actually. <laughs> so, uh, Metro Police launched an investigation, but have sent, uh, since said that it has been dropped. However, Francis has admitted that his license has been temporarily suspended by the UK's Security Industry Authority. His security license or boxing license? Security <laughs> license. <laughs> oh. Why would they? Why isn't that his job? Investigation or something? We, I guess. So. How is it supposed to work? Yeah. Right. Slap on a wrist. Yeah. It, aren't security guards supposed to secure the area? So because, because he needs to work, he says, so I'm just trying to get that sorted and then hopefully I'll be back in the doors as soon as possible, you know, get back to work. But in the meantime, he says he wouldn't mind a rematch with Iron Mike Tyson. Oh, wow. Because that's gone viral and now he's like relevant yeah. again. He's just like, hey, I wouldn't Sorry. mind. If there's a promoter that's willing to promote a sanctioned fight, and I never have uh, liked talking about money, but if they could come up with a decent <laughs> offer, then who knows? Dang. I mean, it's cool. Because he's retired and doing a security job, that means he's not nowhere near close where Tyson is. And Did Tyson and, kill him the first time, though? Is he one of like the one guys of the that just died? Or is <laughs> yeah. it like... What year, this, what year was it? 2000? 2000. No, that's that was near the later. the late late. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was that that was post was, Holyfield, post year Biden. Yeah, post Holy uh, Holyfield was when I was like in junior high, I think. That's when he went downhill. Holyfield was what like ninety eight. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was Bill Clinton was. Still yeah, nineties was Tyson's like yeah, fucking crazy. crazy. So it was uh, Francis was selected as the opponent for Mike Tyson's UK debut, and he famously got the soles of his boots sponsored as uh blah blah blah. That was Francis. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Francis uh. Fought with other high-profile boxers such as Vitali uh, Klitschko, oh, fought Klitschko, John Ruiz, and Oddly Harrison. He's, he's, a, he's a top, yeah, he's a top ranking, so yeah. uh, a top right ranking boxer. But it doesn't say who won. Let's he see. doesn't have like a boxing school or. There it is. Mm. Damn, I mean that's kind of what happens to some athletes, though, right? They just gotta go back to the regular, especially oh. boxing. Especially. Damn. It says Tyson would dominate the fight, gaining five knockdowns over Francis in a span of four minutes. Oh, oh, five wow. knockdowns. So let's kill their. Tyson. I can't believe they fucking <laughs> let that happen. Happen. Fucking destroy the first knockdown came within 45 seconds. Whoa. Usually they have like a three knockdown rule per round Or 45 yeah. seconds left in the first round after being backed in the ropes Francis oh. attempted to throw a right hand But the attempt missed and Tyson landed a right uppercut. Of that course sent Francis down signature yeah. Francis yeah. remained on his knees before finally getting back up in the count of nine Tyson responded by throwing three consecutive power punches in an attempt to gain the knockout victory but the punches missed and Francis quickly clinched with uh, with Tyson in an effort to slow Tyson down. Dude, watching Tyson fights really look like you're watching something entirely different. Uh, yeah. And also like the dudes that he would fight, they were bigger. Cause Tyson's big, but they were bigger. Yeah. So well, they, well, he, he's shorter. Like fucking, he's short for the It, it looked like David and Goliath. Yeah. Yeah. And then just him, they just had they just couldn't deal with his speed. Dude, yeah. his head movement, the, his ability to close the distance and then just uppercut you into another dimension. Dude, everybody was scared fighting him. Have you guys seen his new like boxing program? So like him at 50 something moving around oh, is still fast. scary as fuck. Yeah, dude. Muscle memory, man. What the fuck, yeah. man? Muscle memory. Even when he bobs and weaves, yeah. you're like, I try to do it and I like, I feel like I broke my spine. <laughs> well, I'm, like, bobs and I'm like, ah! He bobs and weaves in like a different, like boxing style in general. Like Tyson has his own fucking like. No, but he looks style. like the, the recoil back when he bobs. Yeah. And That's what he literally looks like, like a human being. I'm like, yeah. wow. he's gonna kill Doesn't you. Look, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's made some murder. Like, growing up in the era where he was king, it's like most people only saw boxing when it was Tyson. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of fucked you up for any other fight. You were just yeah. like, this is boring. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Because all we would watch is Tyson back then. Yeah. And then you see anyone else, you're like, the fuck is this? Because even like Holyfield's really good, but if you watch his fights, they're not as in it. Any, all the heavyweight fights were too slow. It makes everyone look There's so defensive. Yeah. 30 on, on Holyfield about that. Oh, like really? this right. whole idea of like the shadow of being the next champion after Tyson. And, yeah the notoriety, Dude. recommended. I'm very thankful that uh, my parents' richer friends uh, were able to get the pay-per-view for the Holyfield Tyson fight and invited my parents over. Which and you saw the ear, the ear biting? Uh, and everyone's crazy. storming the fucking- I fucking right thought that was so weird, but it was so crazy. memorable. Oh, like, yeah. fucking impossible to forget. It was all over TV. I remember they got the president's viewpoint on it and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, do you yeah. think about this? Oh my God. Who was, was it Bill Clinton at the time? Yeah, I think so. I just, I just think it's so it's sad that like the life pattern, I, I just wish Mike Tyson's life pattern could have been better. 
Yeah. Cause like he he fucking lost his license like so early in his like. Ability. He just needed to find weed earlier. He, he also yeah. went to yeah. jail in, the, in his prime. I know that's what's sad. Now, it's like though. fuck, man. Yeah. Seems really good now. Yeah, but like who knows what cool ass fights like didn't know. happen. You know. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think it was cause when he. Uh, Jake Paul versus Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been great. Jake Paul Tyson now who's winning? Now? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Bart's Dude. face. <laughs> Mike Tyson, Tyson fucking eats him alive. And I think I think he wanted to go full clip. Yeah, I think Mike Tyson would train like he's never trained before and kill him. Like he's never Cuz even yeah, him fighting him. Roy Jones Jr., he was pulling punches like Dude. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was going so Yo, what? Because it was an exhibition match. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's no knock yeah. no knockout. He wants to have another one so they can make money. This Whoa. I think he would because it says it's a statement piece. Like, like a pride piece? Because here what we think is the most, you know, people will argue him or Muhammad Ali is the two greatest whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else whatever. It's fine. But like Someone who has yeah, literally never fought a professional boxer in his life is gonna come fight Mike Tyson? Yeah. That's but true. Yeah. Who's on the Mount Rushmore of boxing? Vaporizer. Yeah. We're talking yeah. about 50s. It's it's not 70s. The youth, the yeah, youth he's definitely not 80 helps. years old. Yeah. yeah. So Jake Paul come after him in 10 years. Pro yeah. Then Jake he, Paul he should go after <laughs> Anderson Silva. He, that's who he should go after. Anderson Silva's fucking killing him. Anderson right Silva and Jake Paul. That's is, he's bo Anderson Silva's boxing now? Or oh, bro, he's, yeah. He's been doing a yeah, I've read yeah, everybody. Yeah, he's really? killing. Yeah, he he's just beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He's, he's and someone else after that. Yeah, he knocked clean some dude ass out. Knockout. And he knocked out Tito Ortiz. Wow. He's knocking everybody out. But like, and they're the same finesse. size finally too, because Jake Paul finally like. Uh, Tyron Woodley's a little bit shorter, Ben yeah. Askren's a little bit smaller. Smaller in general. Yeah, yeah. like Anderson Silva and Jake Paul. He's taller, he's never been muscular though. Yeah, yeah. that'd be actually the same. But he, he, he like, he's like 200 pounds. Yeah, he's a big dude. Yeah, he's, yeah, a, big he's a big guy. What's the weight for a uh, light heavyweight, like weight class? For boxing? In boxing, I don't know. It's probably like 185 to like 190-ish. That oh. might be even heavier, actually. It might be actually lighter, because it's like, then there's cruiser weight. That's why oh, like yeah. closer to 200. Yeah, boxing, there's like weight class every five it's like, to 10 yeah, pounds. Yeah, five, 10 pounds. It's, it's smaller than um, MMA. Yeah. yeah, it's completely different. Yeah, because in M I think heavyweight in MMA is two hundred and above. Anderson Silva started in boxing and then went to MMA, MMA. and then came, and well, came he did back. Well, both. To like he was, he was always like a multi. -sport boxing athlete. and kickboxing. But like wow. he he's actually boxed. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is like a really legit boxer. Yeah, he's yeah. for real. Watched his ass. And he, and he was beating the shit. How old How old is he now? He's like Anderson. Probably late. 30s? Anderson Andy's Silva like is 47. Chavez is late 30s. Yeah. Anderson Silva is 47. If you see Anderson the way he moves though, he moves good, man. Oh, he always moved well. He, he was the dude who well. snapped his leg in that yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, yeah. I hella remember that. Like Gumby's leg. It makes my butthole clench. Everybody, yeah, that was, uh, that was RIP Chris to his leg. It, it went like less than like 10 seconds. Uh, like, he just checked the kick. Terrible. And then Chris Weidman. That yeah, happened to him recently. Happened to him. He the first kick he threw, his shit broke. So it's like weird. Like he did that to Anderson Silva, and then he did that to another guy. That's why you gotta condition those shins. Crazy. That's yeah. what he can do. There's nothing preventative. Yeah, you gotta shin condition, and then just place your low kicks better. You, you know? gotta get beat in the shins. And drink metal pipe milk. Like kick, like kick <laughs> in the movie. Milk. Exactly. When he's kicking the pillar. Kick banana trees. Just like when my dad sent me out to kick out, kick the two by four in her backyard. That's why he did that. Well, that. I found out that later it was just a marker for the septic tank <laughs> when oh it God. when it snowed. But here I am, as my eight year old self, trying to be Van Dam, kicking <laughs> kicking so a wooden funny. plank in our backyard that I thought my dad put out there for me to train with. Wow. And then finding out when I was like 14 that He's it was like, just why for did the septic you fuck tank. This shit? <laughs> you ruined the septic tank for him. Like, I can't even find the shit in this house. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>